Whenever I go on creating a new project, you know what's the hardest part even before I start? It's putting out all the pieces together and able to zoom out to see the whole picture and zoom in to see the micro details. Nope, I don't mean zooming in and out on Figma to see your UI design. I meant the ideation phase. When you start ideating, you have a lot in your mind. Of course, you start with bursts of these thoughts and ideas in your head and then you get into the details of them. And when you go into the details, you may realize and find that some of these things are relevant, some of these are not relevant and so on. But unless you go into the details, you will not know. Now, in this whole process of ideating, zooming in and zooming out and going into the details, there is a good chance that you may miss or forget some of the initial great ideas that you might have had. Has happened to me, happens to everyone. So it's very important that as the first step, you take time to put all your initial thoughts and ideas out somewhere. Whether they make sense, they are relevant or not relevant, you can do that later. The first step is to put those ideas out and connect them for better organization. This process is called mapping your mind and the output is called a mind map. However technical and complicated the name sounds, it's actually pretty easy to make one. So today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a basic mind map and the things that you need to think about even before you put a single pixel on your design tool. I'm going to use a tool called Scrintle, which is a straightforward and easy to use tool that helps you visualize information on a board. In this case, we'll visualize our mind. I have been using it for a while. Please note that this video is also sponsored by Scrintle but they have strictly told me to give an honest review and that's what I'm going to do today while making this mind map today with you. So there's a lot to learn today. Let's get started and I have something great for you at the end of the video. I'm talking about a discount code there. All right, so today I'm going to take up a mock problem statement. The problem statement is to design an app for a restaurant. Simple enough? Let's make it slightly tougher. The restaurant is a Michelin Bib Gourmand restaurant based out of India that serves Indian street food. Now, you all probably know that Michelin star restaurant restaurants, which are premium, very good and expensive ones, right? Michelin also has another category of restaurants with very good food, but they aren't necessarily premium and expensive. They categorize them as Michelin Bib Gourmet. Most of the street food categories fall under this. Now also remember that India doesn't have any Michelin star or Michelin Bib Gourmet restaurant at the time of shooting this video. So we are considering a hypothetical case. And this is not an app or a website you will be ordering food from, but this is a place where the restaurants will talk about their legacy, their food secret recipe, popularity, their Michelin certification and so on. So this will essentially be a place where the restaurant will talk about that goodness, which will entice people to come and visit them. And like I said before, I'm not going to design this app. I'll only consider the things that needs to be thought about before designing this. So let's do it using Scrintle. What I love about Scrintle is that it helps visualize information. We humans are visual learners and it's more true in design than anything else. If you look at the core of it, it's a rich note-taking app like Notion. But what I believe makes it different is this feature called My Desk. It's a small thing, but it's my favorite feature in this entire tool. All your notes and boards that you make will remain in this list always, but on this desk, you can lay down any of those notes and do whatever you want. You can connect them, group them, color code them, create boards, and even share with your teams. And you can also clear this desk whenever you want. And when you clear, the notes don't get deleted. They remain, making this My Desk a customizable arrangement to fit your need. Let me show you. Let me start with a very quick and basic dump of what is in my head. So on this page, let me add a card here and give it a name. This can be the name of the restaurant. Let's name it Real Foodie. Now I can create as many cards as I want with any thoughts that I may have in my head. I can also make these cards link to each other to make a chain branch because that's how our thoughts are, right? Let me delete this and start with one of these nodes, the first card. When I drag and release it, it'll automatically create a new card. This is how I'm going to keep dumping the stuff in my head. The idea is to keep adding anything and everything that comes to my mind when I think of the world Real Foodie or whatever this restaurant is supposed to be. For example, one of the first thing that comes to my mind is food. So I'm going to add food here. So this is about food. And the other things are maybe foodies, people who eat food, right? So I'm going to call it foodies that way. And the other things, of course, are when there is food, there has to be someone cooking it. So maybe chef, you know, a specialized chef who cooks those special food. And uh, since we're talking about restaurant, uh, maybe ambience. Yes, how does it feel sitting out there? And since we are talking food, foodies, chef, um, maybe recipes, because you know it has to be something unique for Michelin to give some kind of a rating, maybe seating, because we have talked about ambience and all. So yeah, seatings and staff and so on. Uh, so yeah, these are a couple of 
first level thoughts that came to my mind, right? I mean, there could be many, many more, but for now, I'm just going to keep it this way. Once we add these level one ideas, the next could be level two. For example, let's have a look at food. Now, when I think of food, there could be other things which comes to my mind. For example, one thing that is coming to my mind since we are talking about Bib Gurman and street food is, of course, street food itself, right? Street food. And then what food has to be, you know, good, tasty, you know, for it to be rated in a certain way. Then, of course, you know, since we are talking maybe food, which is uh, cheaper, it could be cheap, could be one of the words or affordable. Mm, let me add one more thing, you know, maybe spicy because Indian street food tends to be spicy. So yeah, so these are four thoughts which came out of again, food. Likewise, I can think about many other things which will originate out of these first level cards. So let me go ahead and do it. I'll speed up the video and I'll show you the output at the end. Here I've created a basic mind map of all the things that were in my head. You'll see things cascaded inside another and each of these cards can hold a lot of information. These are full-fledged rich documents like Notion Docs. You can open them like a small card or even maximize as proper documents. You can add more text, do formatting, add images, videos, color code them and so on. Pretty neat, right? Once I'm done with this, the next step is to go to each and every card and delve deep. For example, if I pick up the street food card, I'll open it up in a document and go to the internet and start my research about about it. I will read about different types of street food that are available. What are the most popular ones? What are the ones that people like the most? What does our restaurant specialize in? The history behind some of these food items and so on. I will keep populating this document by copying and pasting from the internet, pasting links to articles and blogs, links to videos, images and so on. By the end of it, I'll have a very detailed insight around street food in India in this doc, which I can refer to at any point of time during my design or even after that. I can also share this document with other stakeholders if they want to know more about the street food. I will repeat this process for every other card which is present on the screen. Yes, while doing it, I may also realize that some of these cards or ideas do not make sense or maybe they're not relevant for the work that I'm doing. And if that's the case, I will just discard them. Now let's quickly create another mind map. This one is a little more execution focused. I've thought of four broad categories for now, essentially directions I want to proceed after doing that broad thinking that we had just done. And of course, there will be many smaller subcategories within them as well. The four main categories that I have thought about are number one, analysis of competition. Number two, potential user group, which will eventually be user personas. Number three, visual inspiration. And number four, emotions. Now, as a part of this exercise, I'll only focus on the analysis of competition part. So let's dive into Scrintle once again. I will start just like the way I've done before. I'll create one card for the name of the restaurant. Then I will create four subcategories for competition, potential user groups, visual inspiration, and emotions. Let's focus on the competition part. Remember, I said this is more of execution focused so this will also act as a to-do list for me now when i think of analysis of competition one of the first things that i need to do is check out other such restaurants now like i said that india doesn't have any bib gourmet restaurants so i will check out some of the restaurants which are present abroad now inside this i could add some further more details for example it opens up this way let me just full screen it for a while i remember there was a nice video which i had seen about some of these restaurants in thailand this was the video that i was talking about so i'm just going to copy the link of this video and paste it inside my mind map so the note would be watch this video extract so the bullet points the next will be extract names of restaurants and then check out their websites and apps so this is one of my tasks so i just go back and uh, this is there i'll just close it so this becomes my card for studying other bib gourmet restaurants now i'll also do another thing where i will study other food tech applications Although our product is not about delivery, but I'm going to check out some of the delivery apps as well, which includes apps like Swiggy, Zomato, Grab, Gojek, Deliveroo, Postmates, Uber Eats, and so on. So I've just put a long list of the different apps and websites, which I'm going to check out. The reason I'm checking these out to see how each of these applications have handled discovery of food inside their applications. Now, of course, I personally may not need to do that because as a part of my job at Swiggy, I probably do it on a daily basis. So I have some idea about it. But since we are showing how to create a mind map when you are designing something similar for everyone else, you might want to do this. Third thing that I will do is to go check out the website of Michelin itself. 
From here, I'll get some ideas about content as to what are the different kinds of things that is needed to uh, get a certification from Michelin. I will get some information out of that. So I've created one of these tasks as well. And the fourth thing that I will do is to check out some other reviews of food bloggers of food bloggers of independent iconic restaurants now these could be anything they could be michelin rated may not be michelin rated but these are essentially some of the things which are pretty much within the territory of what i'm going to do which might be my competition of the restaurant that i'm making this website or the app for so these are the four things that i would want to do now these four things would need the same kind of things which i have said going inside each one of them and then doing a lot of google doing a lot of uh, searching around in the internet so that i know each and everything about how these particular players are doing for each and every card of it now i may not want to do all of these things together right because it's going to take time so if i have a team so if there's a team of people who are working on i'll probably delegate some of these things to the people out there so in that regard what we could do and also to track progress there's another interesting thing here which is when i click on this ad there is something called columns so when i click on columns and add a column out here it just adds one cell but when you click on the right side you will see you have an option of adding more columns so i'm going to quickly add two more columns so that it's a three column sort of a view and i'm going to call this as the first one will be task and the second one is in progress and the third one is done and now what i will do is inside this i will drag these cards and bring inside now these are all tasks for now there are four tasks which i need to do so i'm just going to bring them inside task all four of them and they get stacked inside the link that you had done the link is still present but now they are sitting inside some sort of a kanban board which is helpful in tracking and now if i want someone from my team to do this study of other bib goman restaurants what i would do is i would just click on this card and i'm going to hit share card and add the email id of the person from my team who i want this work to be done and once i share it they will get to see the same thing and they will get to do their research and populate this card which is nothing but a document so here it is so once they are done or whoever is done they will just drag this card and bring it into the in progress section so that we all know what are the things which are in progress and what are the things which are done and once they are all done we would know that these work has all been completed by the team members i can also share my boards with the next design team or whoever else from my team is using this by simply clicking on the share and this will be handed over to them so that they can take over the work or collaboratively work on this one i can also add a tag to any of these cards for example i can go ahead and create a tag for this card and call it competition research and i can keep adding this tag to all the other cards around competition for every project that i might work for in the future that way when i'm again starting a new project in the future which needs competition analysis i can filter my scrintle based on the tag and pick up stuff from my past work so that i don't have to repeat it before i finish this off i have two more parts that are quite useful templates scrintle has built in templates for many use cases that you don't have to start from scratch every time also they have a slack community where you can help other scrintle users to get inspiration or ideas so you can get access to scrintle by clicking on the link in the description and you can use the coupon subtarshi10 that will give you 10% off on your subscription. Please note that this discount is valid for 4 weeks after this video is out. Anyone who follows the link gets a discount automatically. I hope next time when you start a new project, you won't get overwhelmed with all the ideas and thoughts that you have in your head. Go build a mind map and structure your thoughts, which will massively help you in your design journey. If you're looking for an in-detailed and step-by-step -step UX design roadmap, then don't forget to check out this video of mine. And if you're interested in my design journey, you can have a look at this video where I have talked about how I got a high paying UX design job. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more such insightful content. This is Sapta signing off.